Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very pleased to be here and be, have the opportunity to tell you something about our company. Our company has the name Spar. Spar is a brand which is used by different companies in 44 different countries worldwide. But we just concentrate today on the center of Europe to the countries Austria, Slovenia, Croatia, Hungary, and the northern part of Italy, where we do our operation. Our main business areas are the food retailing, the sports retailing, and the management of uh, shopping centers. Besides this, we have meat production plants, bakeries, a wine yard, coffee, coasteries, uh, roasteries, and so on. Uh, in the food retail market, uh, we have three distribution channels, the hypermarkets, our supermarkets, and grocery stores. Uh, the most of them are owned by us. We have a very successful uh, concept for franchisees, and we also deliver our merchandise to petrol stations. In the sports area, the company is called Hervis, and they have um, shops in the south of Germany until Romania, and they are also the market leader in Austria. On the other side, the Spar European Shopping Center company cares for 30 different hypermarkets uh, and shopping centers, the most of them belong to us. If you see the development of our company in the last two years, we have been very, very successful. Um, we became the market leader in Austria after 60 years fighting against our competitors. And at the end of 2021, we have passed the 90,000 employees mark. When Spa Austria started to spread beyond the borders to the neighbor countries, they made a quite remarkable decision. Uh, the project was not led by people from the headquarters in Salzburg, but they founded a new company in Switzerland called Asberg, Austria Spa International AG, with two handful of specialists, which started from the scratch to with this uh, business, with the food retail business in these countries. And this was the time when we started with intersystems technology there uh, to cover the merchandise uh, requirements in these countries. At the end, now Spa Austria is the biggest customer of us uh, for intersystems technology too. The application what we built is called Image Integrated Management Application for Grocery Enterprises. It's a huge ERP system, including artificial in intelligence components and so on, and is um, maintained and developed by a group of 25 specialists, uh, which are spread all over our countries. Until 2020, uh, we had about 2,400, 2,500 uh, application running in Austria and in the eastern part or in eastern countries of uh, our group. Uh, it looked like the following. It was an existing, uh, this, the configuration exists of a cache database with the RP system, with the money management, and the integration of a Oracle cache register uh, application too. From 2021, everything changed because we got a new top management. We had the possibility to consider about our visions and we got a lot of new requirements. First of it, we wanted to standardize fully the IT architecture over all our countries. Second, we decided for a new cache of the software. 
in addition to this, we need a new money management on the back office side. And we want to uh, standardize or harmonize the uh, workflows over all our countries. And all of this has to be done with zero tolerance of operation interruption. So our idea or our uh, answer was centralization of the systems and um, the building of a new cash register software, which is called eStore. So we started a greenfield iris installation. We let build uh, the uh, cash register software by a company in Germany. We built up a new user interface for the money management, and we had to improve, in addition, the uh, deployment methods. And at the end, we had also new topics for the security management uh, in this project implemented. We speak today about the greenfield installation, about the deployment methods, and the security topics. This is the schedule of our project. We started in 2020, and we want to finish in 2025. You see a lot of different topics in the different countries according to the majority of the countries or the architecture which is in place there. Uh, so we are now somewhere in the middle of, of the schedule. Uh, and I will tell you now what's going on on the architecture side. Until now, we had an autonomous shop operation implemented in all our shops. There was a big server there who cared for the cash registers, the tills, uh, and all the other peripheral units. And there was just a TCP IP communication to the headquarter for the data synchronization done each hour up to each 10 minutes. In the future, we have an online shop operation. No server anymore in the shops, just uh, the peripheral units, and everything is controlled and done with this headquarter servers. The new shop configuration looks like this. We have on the, uh, on the left side the cash register software with a monitoring server for uh, hardware and software failures. So the headquarter knows more quicker than the cashier that something happens uh, with the cash register. Uh, moreover, there is a master data server who is responsible for the uh, new prices, new articles, new promotion uh, topics. On the right side, we see the so-called communication server who uh, deals with all the requests of the cash registers. Uh, he is connected to uh, some service uh, machines in the background and the scalable shop servers for the ERP system. And this is our greenfield approach uh, with IRIS. We cannot do this in one big step. We have to do it in step by step. This means that we do first the centralization. In the next step, we use the new cache register software. We have also to convert to Unicode, and at the end, we want to go into the data centers uh, in Austria. Overall, this means a fully standardized configuration and the transfer of about 2,450 ERP systems uh, to the data centers. The centralization is done after the closing of the shop, so we have a very, very short uh, time gap uh, to do this. Um, we have a massive amount of data to be transferred, uh, and um, we have to do it parallel to the normal uh, operation in our countries. So this means that we can just centralized 10 of the shops side by side uh, in, within one day. The challenges are the age of the server in the shops, 
uh, the bandwidth between the shops and the headquarters because we do not have everywhere fiberglass optics. Um, the so shop size itself, a hypermarket has a much more big amount of data to be transferred than a grocery store and at least uh, it takes between 30 minutes and three hours uh, to move all the data into this new greenfield uh, application in the headquarters. But we have this one-time opportunity to optimize the IRIS database file structure, the block size in the, in the files, uh, and also the uh, background process sequences. And we did a lot of work and we improved this cache efficiency KPI between 200 and 400%. When we install the new cache register software, this is done in the moment in Austria. We do it during the day. The sales departments get a stick and they go to the first cache register, put it in, and the installation is done automatically. Because of security reason, it's not allowed to do more cache registers uh, side by side, so they have to wait for the first cache register and start the next one. And this means for us that we have now uh, to process two post systems during the day. The only topic is that they have to finish it until the end of the day and everything is correct. Uh, we do about 36 uh, shops a week. This means about 200 cash registers are converted per week in Austria. We have about 12,000 cash registers there, so it takes more than one year to convert uh, to the new system in Austria. The communication server is a very interesting new part of this application. It is our first core-based IRIS license uh, who cares for the communication, for the REST communication with the cash registers and also the REST communication to our um, PDAs in the shop. And it is somehow a gateway to the ERP systems and the other services in the background. We have in the moment a 12 core license installed there. The software deployment has to be changed because everything must be much more faster than before. Uh, we have the situation, uh, we have the principle of a single source code everywhere. So we install the same software everywhere, but we have a lot of parameters which uh, covers the specific requirements in all our countries. So um, we have also different background systems in the countries and we had to speed up the whole uh, cycle of deployment. Until this project, <coughs> we defined the international release. We handed over to the uh, countries and uh, the tests and also the deployment was not synchronized. So we changed now completely. First of all, the uh, countries got a a big amount of test and approval stages. Also the programmers got their development stages uh, with the parameterization of each country. On the other hand, we do not work with releases but with deployment packages. A deployment package consists of more than one release and a set of rules. Who has to do what and when? So if the so a software developer um, checks in a program to a release. The system automatically uh, installs this release in specific stages and alerts this information to the uh, responsible guy who has to test it. On the, under, on the other hand, we installed in all our productive environments uh, three more namespaces. These namespaces have their own program database, but they use the product, production databases uh, of the production, uh, of the red production namespace. So this means that we have uh, the black <coughs> uh, namespace uh, just for the check of um, a error-free installation. The blue namespace is uh, is the namespace for the uh, application managers who have to set up the parameters. 
the green one is for the super users who can uh, work already with the new release. They have a playground there using the data, the productive data, and the red one is the productive environment. So we can use the so-called canary deployment process. The super user logs in into the system, but switches immediately to this green namespace and works already with the new software, or he logs in into the productive environment and just calls specific programs uh, in this green namespace. And also, background jobs can be rerouted uh, to this green uh, namespace, which means that uh, new logic or new uh, features are already processed in the productive environment. At the end, with the approval uh, of the software, the system automatically installs uh, the deployment package also in these uh, namespaces and just uh, the go live step of the deployment packages is switched manually by the country. This means for us that uh, the whole process uh, is much more faster now. We also included automatic test preparation uh, done by the software developers, but the external tests are done more synchronized and with the uh, integration of the super users, uh, the rollout is much more faster than before. Because of this big amount of stages and the centralization of the ERP systems, we had to do something on the security side. Uh, we have now the so-called security vault, which is uh, the management uh, of the access to all the stages from one central point. We have four group of groups of people, the database administrators, the application managers, uh, some specific business users, and uh, the developers. And according to uh, their skills to the countries where they work and the task which they have to fulfill, uh, we have a lot of access rules. You see here uh, the, the access to these stages for one of these guys. And we also maintain or uh, control the access to the um, management portal uh, of IRIS with this. We go back to the schedule and we see now uh, the progress in the countries. So um, also here, we are exactly in the middle of the uh, project and we are on track. Other things what we do now in our company is uh, in the moment the rollout of Office 365 in the cloud. We prepare for the implementation of financial bookkeeping, controlling human resources, uh, using SAP S4 HANA. This will be a big bank in the middle of next year. We develop a new data warehouse in the Asia cloud and I'm sure that uh, after we have finished uh, our homework now uh, with our project that we will also go with Iris into the cloud next. Thank you very much. <laughs>